All right, this video is going to cover how to set up your mat assignment schemes. And I want you to think of mat assignment schemes as stacks of bout sheets. So really what we're doing is we're creating these different stacks and we're sending them to particular mats based on a round, a group, a weight class, whatever that might be. Um, and so I'll give you two different examples, I guess, a couple different examples of how to do these. So uh, on your um, tournament, we're coming to the mats page. You, you can get that from a lot, get there from a lot of places. Um, but I'm going to start with this open tournament, um, and I have four mats in, in this open tournament. And if I click on assignment schemes, you'll notice everything is blank here. So I'm just going to click add scheme. And the most simple way to do this is if you're going to create, let's call it one stack of bout sheets, one mat assignment scheme. And I'm just going to go first available, however deep you want to do that, two, three, four, whatever that is. And I'm just going to send those out. One match is done. The next one goes. So I'm just going to call that an all group, an all, an all scheme. I'm going to pick all my groups, pick all the rounds. I don't have to worry about these match IDs. And then I go ahead and click add. And this is the most simple way to run electronic bouts using mat assignment schemes that your tournament could possibly have. Uh, and basically, it's that one stack. We're going to go kind of in bout order, send them out, and just keep sending those um, those uh, matches out to mats. That works in a lot of cases. Um, lots of scenarios where you might want to do that and that's you know by far the most simple way to do it. Actually gonna delete this one out just as to not to confuse anyone and start over just a little bit. So we can customize this in any way that you'd like. So in my, gr in, in my tournament, if I go to my groups and divisions in this case, I have three different groups and let's say that I'm running my younger group in the morning and then the two older ones in the afternoon. So that would be the scenario. That could be your case, it, it, it probably isn't, but uh, you can apply that to pretty much any way that you want to run your tournament. So I come back to this assignment schemes. I'm gonna add a scheme now, and instead of calling it all, uh, I'm just gonna call this AM. So this is my AM scheme. We're gonna use this young group, and I'm still gonna use all the rounds in my tournament. I'll show you another example, actually, of how to break out rounds just a little bit. But what I really want to do is create this one stack of bout sheets. I'll click add. And now I have this stack of bout sheets. So I'm just running all of my younger groups and the a or younger wrestlers in the AM. I'm going to send those out. And then in the afternoon, then I'll call this PM. And now I'm going to pick these other two. I just used my control key to highlight the other two groups. Click all rounds. I'm not going to worry about match IDs. And I click add. So now I have these two different schemes. I'll load this scheme in the morning, I'll load this scheme in the afternoon. Now, maybe you wouldn't maybe these are all running in one session and you might call this young, this, you know, older. Um, this might, you know, lots of different ways. This might be, you know, uh, beginner, this might be advanced. And then I could actually send this scheme to say mats one and two, this scheme to mats three and four. So there's lots of different ways to customize this. But again, Really important, I think really helpful if you think of it as like these stacks of bout sheets that we're sending out to the mats. Now, the other thing, we talked uh, talked about the all scheme, we talked about sending it you know, by groups, but um, in the example, a lot of times you might have a varsity or a predefined type tournament. And if I go into this one right here, this is a predefined tournament. And if I go into this event and I go to the mats page, so I'm going operating, but you can get there from a lot of different ways. And in this example, let's say this is a, a varsity tournament, a high school varsity tournament. It wouldn't have to be, but this is a good example. I have three mats in this one, and if I go to my schemes, what I, what I want to do, with, and this might be really common um, for you, I want to run all my preliminary matches. So I'm just going to call this prelims. Uh, I'm going to go all weights. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these up until my placements. Now you'll notice that I have my placements broken out. Um, this actually relates back to the rounds page. This is a great way to do it. Um, you wouldn't have to do that. You might see a round here that's just called placements. And in that case, we could pick a match ID. So we could pick, pick the match ID for say the fifth place match or whatever the case might be. Um, but what I'm going to do is my prelims, I'm going to come, I'm highlighting all of those up until my placement matches, and I'm gonna add that. So now I created the scheme, I created, I created this stack of bout sheets, and I'm gonna go first available, doesn't matter, I'm gonna go on all three mats right up through my placement matches. Then I wanna send all of my fifth place matches in all my weights, 
I'm gonna pick this round, and again, if you didn't have your rounds broken out, you could use a match ID under the placements round, where I would pick, I think it's 28 or whatever the, what it might be for this bracket type. And I'm gonna put my fifth place, and I'll do the same for third. I'm gonna go all weights, and I'm just gonna pick my third place, and then of course, I would do my first place. And again, all weights, I pick my first place round. And now I have these bout sheets, these stacks of bout sheets that I'm gonna send out, these you know, four mat assignment schemes. And from here, what I can do is send maybe my fifth place to mat three, third place to mat two, and first place to mat one. Depends on your tournament, depends on how you want this to run, but the mat assignment schemes are really important, really powerful and allow you to uh, get those bouts out to your mats at the computers for electronic bouts in any way that you would like them to.